Hello, I'm Abyx Cat, and welcome back to the video. Today we're going to talk about one of the big trends that people discuss when it comes to the future of Minecraft, and that is whether Minecraft is getting more realistic or whether Minecraft is getting less realistic. This is one of those big questions where you can look at any big update, particularly 1.12, and you can really point to some big features and say, wow, yeah, Minecraft's getting way more realistic over time, but I don't think it's necessarily that simple, and I think it's a lot, you know, harder to answer than yes, it is getting more realistic, or no, it's not getting more realistic. So I figured why not make a video talking about the realism in Minecraft and how it's going to develop over time based on the analysis of the past four years. So yeah, hopefully you do enjoy this video. You can like it if you do because it helps out the channel a lot. And let's know you do want to see more videos like this one, particularly about the realism of Minecraft, because I know a lot of people have been caring about how realistic Minecraft is recently, particularly with mods that make the game feel more realistic that a lot of people do like, and particularly with people who just say that yeah, Minecraft should of course look like the real world because you know it's it's vaguely based on it. But I think that uh, you know it's, it'd be really simplifying it to say that yeah, Minecraft's always been kind of a realistic game because you can look at so many different features and say yeah, well they're clearly not based on the real world thing. Uh, but the best example, you know, again to analyze just the past four years is the 1.8 update. The 1.8 update was actually fairly, uh, you know, unrealistic. Uh, you know, it had rabbits in there, which you can say, oh, I guess they are kind of realistic. But guardians, what are guardians based on? Is there anything in the sea that fires lasers at you? I didn't really think so. Are there ocean monuments where you can find these rare treasures? I don't really know if you can necessarily say that. And I think 1.8 is a pretty unrealistic update, but you might say, oh yeah, let's ignore 1.8 because of the guardians and let's ignore it for all these brand new features and weird blocks that just make it, you know, an unrealistic update. Let's look at the ones since then, because if you look at Minecraft 1.10, for instance, that was a pretty realistic feeling update. The, you know, the biggest features, polar bears and, uh, you know, igloos, you could argue, they're both real things in the real world. Polar bears do exist, fun fact, and so do the igloos. They're, you know, that's a real thing that people live in in the cold climates, and, uh, you know, also magma blocks. That's a real thing. A lot of the brand new things and the blocks and stuff they added are actually kind of realistic stuff, and you might look at that, and they might look at 1.11 with its llamas and stuff like that, or 1.12 with parrots and, you know, all these colored blocks, and you might look at these updates and say, yeah, Minecraft is getting so realistic. All these brand new features make the game feel like it's this, uh, you know, this real, uh, you know, they're trying to make it based in real life in more and more ways. Uh, you know, they even renamed blocks like, you know, uh, stained clay into hardened clay, and they made the color palettes, they made them a little bit more, you know, kind of real and a little bit less, you know, like this weird, uh, you know, separate game thing. And you might look at all this stuff together and say, yeah, Minecraft is getting so realistic, every update really just shows that off. You can see how it's happening more and more and more, and so cat, I think that by Minecraft 1.13, it will just be a carbon copy of the real world. You, no one would ever really say that last bit, but, uh, you know, it, it's, it's a thing you could get in the theory of that, you know, the Minecraft developers want the game to seem more and more realistic, and this is something I think they've definitely hinted towards in a few ways. Jebba said it's every uh, every update he intends to add some form of new animal mob. Uh, again, think about the polar bears, the llamas, the rabbits, the, um, you know, the, uh, think about the par uh, parrots, all of these brand new mobs. They're all real animals, and this means that most of the new mobs they're adding in any given update are going to be realistic, and that means that, you know, there's going to be more and more things from the real world, but you've got to bear in mind that Minecraft isn't an entirely realistic game. I know we all know that, I know it's not a real life thing, but bear in mind that there's a lot of parts of the game which are just kind of like, oh yeah, we took real life, and there's nothing fun there, so we just made something up. This is why the never exists in the form it does, you know? Uh, th there isn't like this, this secret hell dimension where you can travel at 1.8 speed in the real world. Fun fact, you might not have known that, I know. But the truth is, is if you look at these updates, these same updates, you know, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, you can actually look at these exact same things and say, yeah, look how many ridiculously like brand new unrealistic features they added, such as uh, the new end in 1.9. The the fact that they expanded the end, uh, you know, made it like a lot randomly generated, that was a crazy brand new feature in 1.9. Uh, perhaps the most off the script thing, like that for, you know, again, in the real world, there is no end. Uh, especially not one that goes on infinitely with these weird islands. They, they, they added something brand new like that, but they also added uh, woodland mansions. I mean, you can argue there are real wood mansions in the real world, but they're not filled with these weird illagers that can pass magic spells. They put magic into the game and a revival totem for the first time. Uh, they put in the shulkers and then the shulker boxes. They put in all these different, you know, illagers in 1.12 as well. Uh, when you really start to consider the fact that every one of these updates is adding all these crazy new features, you could even argue much more convincingly, I think, that the update is getting less realistic when you really start to break it down. So Minecraft is getting less realistic then, not more realistic. Good job on answering that question. And I think that's not actually entirely the case either. I realized something as I was trying to like compare all of the features, again, from the past four years, the realistic ones versus the unrealistic ones. And when you really think about it, all of the realistic features are the ones that anyone can see at any time. I think these are designed to make the game a, a bit more appealing for new players because you'll recognize more things. So rabbits, for instance, they made them, uh, you know, they removed the chance of them being able to spawn as a killer rabbit because that might, you know, just destroy someone. And if they don't know what's going on, that's confusing. And I think they're really trying to make this new player experience something that you can get from any update because guess what when you download Minecraft 1.12 no matter how much Minecraft you play you'll be able to find a parrot and you'll be like oh look it's a brand new mob but if you do care about the update 1.12 is also going to bring with it the brand new villager type that can cast spells and fire bows at you uh, fire arrows at you uh, it's also going to bring with it the brand new achievement book you know a book full of just magic little things it's going to bring uh, the re there's a recipe book as well of course so you can see that's something game it's going to bring brand new note block sounds but even going a step further than that it's going to have new control options it's going to have new command time 
types you can do, you know, commands, the most realistic thing in the world, right? And I think that's the big trend they're doing with Minecraft's future. Like, they're trying to make the game more realistic on the surface, but with more depth on the back end. And I think there's only so much depth you can take in the real world. So that means that the game is inherently getting more unrealistic in the long run. But for the people who are playing it at the first time, it's going to seem more and more like the real world. Remember when you first started playing Minecraft all the way back when, even though the game, you know, seemed kind of realistic and there was all this stuff in there, all you could notice is that, oh yeah, you chop down trees and then you see cows. And oh my god, cows in the real world. Look how crazy these things look. And I think that's the feeling they want people to get in Minecraft. I think that is, in fact, one of the core parts of the game as I think about it more and more, that the, you know, the game is this really good juxtaposition of like, here is old, uh, you know, here's lots of realistic stuff that you can recognize, and here's just some crazy stuff that makes the game fun. And that's what makes Minecraft great, in my opinion. So is Minecraft getting more realistic? I mean, sort of yes, but also I would say a lot more no. If you have to kind of categorize it, if you wanted to ignore the last like five minutes and say, is it going one way or the other? I'd say it's getting less realistic, but for new players, definitely less so. And yeah, that is uh, how I would end today's video, and I hope you did all enjoy it. This little uh, is Minecraft realistic thing. You can like it if you did like it, because it helps out the channel a lot. Let us know you do like this sort of video, share if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here, because I make videos like this one every single day on my channel, and if subscribed, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.